This program has been made possible in part by Barry Klein and Laura Bryant are here to tell us all about mitered squares. Welcome, you guys. Thanks, Uni. So this is such a fun technique. It is a lot of fun, and it's very, very easy. So people who are beginners, it's a really good technique for learning something new, but also learning how to play with yarns and to put design and yarn together. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things that I love so much, just looking at some of the pieces on the table, is how it highlights yarn changes and color changes. Yeah. Right. And part of that starts just from the very beginning. The first thing you do is you cast on a set number of stitches. Mm -hmm. It's always an odd number of stitches because we're doing a double decrease in the center. So if my fingers are your needles, you've mm -hmm. cast on, let's just say, 15 stitches. In a straight line. In a straight line, mm -hmm. exactly. And you work until you have three stitches in the middle. Mm -hmm. You slip one, knit two together, and pass the slip stitch over. So you're getting rid of two in the middle, and we'll show them how to do it. And as you do that, the decrease comes in the center, and you're creating a miter. It gets a point and two edge points. You get down to one stitch, and then you build miter on top of miter. Well, how great. Let's those, those, those boxes mm -hmm. can either be diamonds on edge, or they can be arranged as squares mm -hmm. lined up with straight edges. So you have a lot of play in terms of the direction of the stripes. Let's take a look at some of the pieces and see how, how you can put them together. OK, well, on this one right here, your cast on mm -hmm. is right along here. This is your double decrease right in the middle, and you can usually see what mm -hmm. that miter looks like. It's a really great graphic kind of look to the... Exactly. To it the is very case. arty and graphic. And in other cases, like this, this is a purse. And so here's your cast on. Mm -hmm. The miter's up the middle. It's using a yarn that's got lots of lashes and fur, so it doesn't mm -hmm. really show. And you work until you have enough stitches left to get your hand inside, and then you bind off. And you simply make two pieces and put a handle on it, and you've got a great accessory item. And the same thing here. The hand fits right in. Mm -hmm. But what we've done here is we've played with color. Mm -hmm. And the color change is just very, very subtle. So it becomes more of a visual play. I love about this the fact that you don't even see that mitered line mm -hmm. any longer. It just created the shape. But it's there, in fact. That decrease is still right there. So your yarn is really, your yarn really it's matters. It's all about it the yarn the and color. Right. Exactly. And in this purse down here, the miter is right here. This was your cast on. You decrease down the middle, and here's the end. OK, so it's folded in half. It's folded in half. And then it's picked up along the edge and worked opposite. Mm -hmm. And so this is just like a building block, and it all comes together. And this will be the free pattern that we've got online for oh, everybody. Great. And so far, everything we've seen are full miters. Mm -hmm. But in some cases, you have to do half miters. And this is a half miter. So you've picked up, and mm -hmm. your decreases not only are done in the middle, but they're done along the sides that you get oh, a see. flat top. And in some cases, depending on the garment, if it's a side seam, it gets turned on its edge, and it becomes a nice edge for mm -hmm. a side seam. So, so, so all of these have been put together sort of diagonally right. off of each other. Except for this one. Mm -hmm. And that's square. And, and this is an example of how they've been put together in square as well. Mm -hmm. um, this will become a felted tote. So mm -hmm. it's going to get all felted down. And you can see from the swatch, what it's really done is to showcase the movement, the, the shift of that mm -hmm. as the miter is made, because you can no longer see that decrease down the center because of the felting. But these are organized in block by block, mm -hmm. and they've turned in direction. Mm -hmm. So they're not all lining up in the same direction. And you can play a lot with how those blocks go together. Oh, how fun. Right. And in this case, what's really fun about this, and it's the technique, it's the part I love about miters, is that this is your first miter down here. This would mm -hmm. be miter number one. Your cast on down to one, mm -hmm. and then you're going to pick up. You pick up on one side and cast on on the other, and it comes down to one. And they connect and build. Well, let's take a look at how we do this. OK. So here's what you do. This miter is already done. Mm -hmm. And to build one miter on top of another, you have one stitch remaining. And you want to pick up. I did this one in stripes. So for every stripe, and it's all in garter stitch, so it's mm -hmm. knit every row, I want one stitch per stripe. I put my needle in, wrap my yarn, whoops, wrap my yarn over, mm -hmm. and come right through. 
So that would be one stitch into my next stripe, wrap it like I'm knitting it, and come through. And you just repeat this process. And are you going in a knot or into a stitch? I like going into the knot because it's a little bit more firm. Mm -hmm. It gives me some structure to go into. I don't like holes from when I've picked up. And in this case, when I get to the end of the row, I have half of my miter. Mm -hmm. And to get the other half, you have to cast on the difference. And what we're talking about from a visual standpoint can be shown right here on this little chart. Mm -hmm. What I love about this is it's all laid out. And this is the diagram for what you're wearing. This would be oh, the okay. back panel. I see. And so miter number one is done in colors E and D. Mm -hmm. And because it's not attached to anything, it's a complete cast on. Your double decrease is in the middle mm -hmm. down to one stitch. Miter two is picked up along the edge of miter one with decreases all mm -hmm. the way down. That's great. So when you're doing the half, it's only a single decrease on the edge instead of a triple, uh, instead of three stitches being involved. Exactly, it's a regular decrease. Yeah, and I sense. have a question for you. Since you're always doing an odd number of stitches, mm -hmm. when you pick up half of them, you then have to cast on half plus one? It, it depends how many I pick up. I have to end up with the right number but of stitches. Some it's point, usually half right, plus one. At some one. point, you either have to pick up one in that point that you just left. Exactly. Just to make sure that you have the right number right. of stitches. Well, that's great. And you don't need to seam them because they're already connected. Exactly. There's no finishing involved other than burying tails. Well, fabulous. Thanks so much, you guys. Thanks, Unique.